broadcasting from the Ricky Kenya. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, LTO, editorial news for October 11, 2011, on Sunday on Meet the Press, GOP presidential candidate Herman Cain, who calls himself the Big Daddy Cain in politics, was giving a response to all of the demonstrations by Occupy Wall Street, who is doing a lot of demonstrations over 150 cities in the United States and across Europe. In his response, he was saying, people who are not rich have only themselves to blame. Talk about the 99% of them. And here he is, he, he represents the 1%. He said, don't blame Wall Street, don't blame the big banks. If you don't have a job and you're not rich, blame yourself. It's not a person's fault because they succeeded. It's a person's fault if they fail. And so, this is why I don't understand these demonstrations and what it is that they looking for. LTL responds to you, Herman Cain. Negro, please. At least Occupy Wall Street has a meeting. And why are they demonstrating? Because of the corporate greed high unemployment they not and then they being tax heavy while you as the one percent are not being tax heavy and here you are don't understand that's why the rich people don't understand but Negro like you you should but no, you, I guess you're not black enough to know about it. And plus, here you are, a chairman, saying you're the chairman of Whirlpool. You lied on your resume. Trying to be a president. And, and then, here you are, you don't understand them. And they telling them they need to blame themselves. Don't you know corporate greed is the one that is the the one that put them out on the streets? They and then the high payments on school loans, student loans. Because here it is, the student loan companies like Sally May. They the one that trying to put them out on the streets to demonstrate. Here they are. They trying to get a job, but they go by people's credit rating. If their credit is not good, they won't have a job. So my response to you, Herman Kane who you call yourself the Big Daddy Kane, who lied off of his resume, cheated, to suck up with some of the GOPs. Just go back to Whirlpool. Matter of fact, you a custodian or a janitor in simple term. Go back to work. Punch the time clock and go back to work. You got plenty of floors that you have to clean up and restrooms. 
Yeah, go in the restrooms. Because the urinals are dirty. After all the white men had peed in it. And threw chewing gum in there. Cigarette butts. Go on and clean the pee from there. And quit harassing the Occupy Wall Street. Matter of fact, I'm going to talk to Prophet David Ebert of War, and he will pray for another earthquake in the United States. Matter of fact, he had did. He did it for the second earthquake that God is going to put on the United States. And then I want to see you. The next time I see you, you'll be in a sackcloth. Not for repentance. It's because you lost a lot of money. Sucker. So, Negro, I don't know which plantation you came from. But go back to it. Suck up with your with the your slave masters. You house Negro. I'll be back with more LTO Editorial News.